what is up loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up what's goody i am naomi here on my channel i like to create natural hair videos lifestyle beauty vlogs fitness and a sprinkle of commentary here on my channel and if you're not new here say with me hey girl hey so guys it has definitely been a minute since i posted a hair video you guys are probably wondering do you even still do your hair like what's going on you guys know me mostly from my hair videos that is what i started my channel on and i am bringing that back i've been focusing more on vlogs and like other aspects that i really enjoy in my life not to say that i don't enjoy doing my hair but i i i, I don't want to be a one-dimensional youtuber i don't want to be a one-dimensional content creator in general i like a lot of things and i want to be able to showcase all my different aspects of my life different things that i enjoy and love filming so today is a hair video not just any hair video today i'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions on a couple of curl smith products now i've tried curl smith before this is not my first product review for Curlsmith. I reviewed the Bond Curl Rehab Salve before, and I really enjoyed that product, but I really want to see what Curlsmith was all about. And today's video is going to be a wash day plus a first impressions review. First, we have the new additions to their moisture line. This is the Essential Moisture Cleanser as well as the Essential Moisture Conditioner. I brought these two products. So these are going to be the two products as far as wash day that I'll be talking about. For styling, I'm going to be talking about the Curl Smith Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream as well as the Curl Defiling Styling Souffle. So let's go ahead and hop into this wash day. Getting started on this wash day, as you guys know, I must saturate my low porosity hair with warm water. Literally an essential tip when washing my hair. As you guys can see, the water beads are literally trickling off my hair. And this is just five minutes of me allowing the warm water to saturate my strands. And you guys can see a big, big difference in how my hair looks when it's fully saturated with water. But we're just going to make sure that we are saturated. Moving in with the Essential Moisture Cleanser. Um, this is what it looks like. It is a clear consistency. It kind of looks like a gel, but not really. And that's what it looks like. Then I'm applying this to my roots. A key, key, key factor of having healthy hair is to have a healthy scalp. So make sure you guys are cleansing your scalp. Even if you may not go in with a cleanser shampoo, go in with a shampoo in general to cleanse your scalp because ultimately that is where your hair is going to start off is growth process. So I'm making sure that I scrub my hair really well using the fingertips of my the palm tips of my fingers i usually use a shampoo brush but i actually forgot it in this video so i'm just going to use that to really moisturize the, i'm not moisturized i'm really using my fingers to really work that in then we're going to rinse out with some warm water one of my biggest pet peeves is literally missing a spot of my hair with shampoo when i'm rinsing so i'm making sure that i open up my hair and i rinse out everything like no suds no shampoo left behind at all. So we're just gonna go ahead and rinse. Then we're gonna move into the conditioner step. I went ahead and sectioned off my hair and then we're taking a few pumps of the conditioner and finger detangling and then going in with our tangle teaser brush. I really like using this brush. Make sure you guys are using it vertically rather than horizontally when detangling your hair. And make sure you're working your way up. Start from the ends and work your way up. Literally, your ends are the oldest part of your hair, so you definitely want to be gentle with the ends of your hair. But this is how I am detangling. And as you guys can see, my hair is definitely clumping up with this conditioner. Make sure you guys are taking your time. Do not rush and truly detangle your hair. I did not get a deep conditioner from Curlsmith, so we're just gonna move along. Moving into the styling process, I went ahead and applied the oil and cream inside of the shower. As I'm looking at my hair now, I definitely applied a little too much, and maybe that was the fall of my demise, but that's okay. This is just a first impression. So I went ahead and added the souffle on top like I typically do with all my gels. I rake it in, I do the praying hands method, and I make sure that every strand is coated. On the instructions, it did say to apply it like a praying hands method, and then go in and scrunch your hair. But as you guys can see, I have type four hair, and scrunching does not do anything for me um so i did do a little bit of scrunching but like let's be real 
when am I ever going to scrunch my hair? Let's be real. I'm uh, making sure that my hair is really saturated with the water. As you guys can see, I have a lot of product in my hair, but this is the wash and style portion of the video. All right guys, so now it is time for my first impressions. Before this wash day, I was coming from my protective style. I took it out a couple of days before I washed my hair. I really didn't moisturize my hair or put anything in there besides like gel to style it. So I really want something to cleanse my hair. Um, so getting into the Essential Moisture Cleanser as well as the conditioner. Now the cleanser, it definitely did cleanse my hair. It didn't really stand out to me but I did enjoy using it. It definitely had a good lather. Um, it definitely cleansed my hair well. I did cleanse my hair twice to make sure that all like the gunk and the buildup and the residue on my hair was gone before I styled it. I do love the smell of this. Like it gives like a fresh smell. Getting to the matching conditioner. It has definitely been a while since I've used like an actual conditioner outside of my Aussie Moist conditioner. I love that conditioner even though I'm pretty sure it has like silicones and stuff like that. If you guys don't know, I use conditioners for detangling purposes or like a pre pro treatment, something to detangle my hair with beforehand. I don't really use conditioners throughout my routine but I've been breaking that habit lately. I've been using a conditioner as like a detangling treatment and then going in with my deep conditioner. Now with this conditioner, I really liked it. It took a while for it to come out. The pump was definitely taking a while for it to come out. It did smell good. These two as a whole, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. They did not stand out to me, but I feel like if I continue to use it, I'll give a more in-depth review on why I like it or why I don't like it, but I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Now moving into the style products, we have the Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream, and then we have the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Now these two together are not a good mix, at least for my hair, it was not a good mix. I read a couple of reviews where people were saying that it worked for them, like it was really nice, their hair was nice and soft, and it just had the nice, really good moisture. Now my hair is not lacking moisture, my hair is nice and soft, but my hair did not do well with combining these two products. I do have low porosity hair, so I do think that's a factor. I did see a girl who commented the same thing, but I think she has type 3 hair, and she has low porosity, and it just didn't work for her. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe that's a big factor on why some products may not work for me. My hair takes a long time for it to absorb the products, so it may just be sitting, and it just may not be mixing well. I really do like the oil and cream. I just, I don't know what it is about, like, thick consistency things. Before I used to stay away from them because I have low porosity hair, but if I'm doing like a twist style, I'll definitely be using this. I don't think I'll ever use this on a wash and go anymore unless it's like a layering product, but I don't think I will use this on a wash and go. I think I will use it more for like twist outs, braid outs, maybe flat twist outs, something like that rather than a wash and go. Now my biggest thing with styling souffles they have never worked for my hair. I've tried many before. The only souffle that actually worked for me was the male organics one. That one I love. Like that is a really good souffle. But all the other souffles that I've ever tried, they've just never worked for my hair. Souffles that have the same consistency as the Curlsmith one, they just never really worked for my hair. They always end up, it's more so that the fact that it flakes. It never mixes well with products that I have. So I was really kind of a little iffy, but I was like, you know what, let's try it. If you're looking for something that's like a little lightweight, but still give you a little bit of definition, Souffle is the way to go. Me personally, it just does not mix well with my hair. It is hard for me to like rate this product because it's like, besides the flaking, I do love what it actually did to my hair. Like I've been staying away a little, I've been kind of venturing off from doing a strong hold wash and go using like hard gels. I've been using more so of lightweight gels. And I love the fact that my hair looks like really like a curly fro. I love those type of looks now. And I've been looking for products that can emulate that type of look. So I do love the way my hair feels. I love the way it looks. The only thing that I just do not like is the fact that my hair was flaking. I'm gonna give this product a rating. I'm probably gonna give it a five out of 10. And the curl conditioning oil and cream, I'm gonna give this a eight out of 10. Like I like it. Um, you definitely need to have your hair soaking wet, at least for me personally. I'm in my hair, my hair needs to be wet for it to really get in there. But I really do like this product. I'm definitely gonna try this on like a twist out or braid out and I'll show you guys 
how that goes. All right guys, so this is all that I have for you. I really enjoyed filming this video. It's been a minute. I know it definitely has been a minute, but hair videos are gonna be back on my channel, a little bit more consistent. That is what I have for this video. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Make sure you guys give this video a big old thumbs up, as well as leave a comment down below on what products that you guys think I should try, rather it be Curlsmith or any other brand. Let me know down below, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.